New at 6, if you're looking to get into the heart of Wisconsin nature, off-roading is an increasingly popular option. And tonight, NBC 15's Brittany McDonald gets an inside look at what it takes. I don't know if I really need the air down or not. But... Because I just plain like it. It's just plain fun. In a Jeep or another four-wheeled vehicle you'd see out on the road, I'm taken into the woods and out onto bumpy trails for an off-road experience. Ripping through narrow trees, gripping every corner, it takes skill and control. It's more technical than people realize. Off-roading on many Wisconsin trails like this one in Columbus is less about speed and more about maneuvering around obstacles. Well, if you're someplace where there's really some challenges, but sometimes, the obstacles get the best of you. Really need a new it's all part of the adventure. I always wanted to see how far you could drive in, a, in deep snow. Dave Barr is part of a four-wheel driving club that's been around since the 70s. I can drive somewhere, go do a little trail riding, and then drive home with it. For them, it's a family activity, away from the daily grind and into Wisconsin's land. We have picnics, we go camping together. It's getting out in the nature our own way. That's fun, the obstacles are great. In Columbus, Brittany McDonald, NBC 15 News. I thought the Beltline was an adventure. That looks pretty cool. Well, the off-roaders are all part of the Wisconsin Four-Wheel Drive Association. Now, they say the problem is accessibility to open trails. There's not a lot of it. They often have to use private land with permission, of course. They say they are working with the DNR to open more off-roading trails around the state.